it's still funny though. There's still funny scenes. Uh, there's uh, most of the funny scenes are basically on David Arbor's character, the father, very dim-witted character, and um, I really enjoy his his uh, his jokes, his funny moments. What is up, Joe the Geek here, and today we're going to be talking about the uh, the newest Marvel Studios movie, Black Widow, just released, so I watched it, it's a good, good movie. Marvel, this is the phase four of Marvel movies. We just finished with Loki, we had uh, uh, the Falcon Winter Soldier, upcoming uh, TV shows such as Armor Wars, Hawkeye, She-Hulk. More Marvel movies with the new Spider-Man movie coming out, the Doctor Strange and the Multi-Universe of Madness. Tons of movies coming out for Marvel, Phase 4 Marvel. I'm excited to see those, but Black Widow started off really well. Scar Johansson returns as Natasha Romanoff, the Black Widow, and instead of an origin story, this is like more of a standalone what's going on after the events of Captain America Civil War and um, we do get a little bit of flashback. So basically the synopsis of the movie is uh, with Natasha Romanoff re reconnected with her sister-like friend Yolena Belova and she's played by Florence Pugh. She's also discovering that uh, her father played by David Arbor was discovering a, a very uh, new super soldier serum that was tested on himself and the agents are all after the uh, family when they're really young. So when they pick him up, they, they all go to the house, uh, their childhood home, and they also see their uh, mother, which is played by Rachel Wise. And they all try to reconnect themselves. At the same time, all these agents are uh, being still chasing after the family. And um, Natasha discovers that she's really adopted. Yeah, that's that's the big plot twist at the end so really dark uh, secrets at the end more dark secrets coming up throughout the whole movie but let me tell you it's good action movie oh my goodness like there's tons of scenes that are just wicked Scar Johansson's karate and martial arts fighting is really good and there's tons of um, explosions shootings and you know, a lot of Marvel movies do have a lot of actions, uh, fighting, um, action, fighting scenes, explosions, but it's still towards, towards kids. This one I felt is really dark and some scenes because uh, Natasha discovers dark secrets of her past. Um, it's still funny though. There's still funny scenes. Uh, there's uh, Most of the funny scenes are basically on David Arbor's character, the father, and a uh, very dim-witted character. And... Um, I really enjoy his his uh, his jokes, his funny moments, and um, yeah, even Florence Pugh's funny moments in the show in the movie. They, uh, she's actually there's a scene she actually uh, jokes around uh, Scar Johansson's fighting stance. And it's just crazy. Like um, that's why I think about the movie. Very action packed. Marvel Studios did a great job. And, uh, of course, stay after the credits. It's a Marvel movie. You have to stay after the credits. It gives you a big surprise at the end. All the actors, just just really cool. Uh, Flores Pugh, like I said, I think she was in Midsummer Murders, I think it's called, or Midsummer. Uh, so she's not really a, a big actress, but, yeah, she did a breakout through role with uh, Scar Johansson in this movie. And I thought this movie was really well Five stars, yeah. You know, even Lauren Bass, amazing score with different parts of the soundtrack being, uh, being very recognized for an, an action Marvel movie. And it's just what it is. You know, a Marvel movie standalone, you know, Kevin Feige did a great job producing this movie. And um, I, I really enjoyed it. Like, for a Marvel movie, it really ha holds up to his name. Yes, Marvel, do some more movies. Of course, they do more movies that got future projects. If you enjoy this review, comment down below what you think of the film. Also, comment down below on my videos, what you think of my videos. Should I do 
uh, what kind of movie reviews are coming up uh, that you want me to do. And also smash that like button if you haven't done so. Share this video, subscribe to my channel, and as always, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Catch you later, dudes.